Well, good day, everyone. Tracking Hurricane Ernesto. Ernesto now a Category 1 hurricane. Winds of 85 miles an hour. Now starting to move to the north. Working its way northward at 14 miles an hour. Ahead of the center of the storm system, the waters are very warm and there's little wind shear, so it is going to get a little bit stronger as we head into the next one to two days. In fact, it should become a Category 2 hurricane later today with winds over 100 miles an hour. Then after that, it's going to make a push towards Bermuda and then eventually it races up into the North Atlantic where it interacts with wind shear and very cold waters. And at that point in time, it becomes an extra tropical low as we head towards early next week. But nonetheless, it's going to be a big storm system still and affect parts of southeastern Canada. Computer models in good agreement, taking this system close to Bermuda and then eventually up towards St. John's, Newfoundland. Now, as the system works its way towards the north, it's roughly 700 miles to our east, so no real impacts from the actual storm system, but it is going to send a big wall of water towards the Atlantic coast, and as a result, our, our swells and our seas will be be building. So as we head into tomorrow and into the weekend, we're going to see some rough seas with waves at about four to six feet. And that does mean we do have a high chance of seeing rip currents. And on top of that, it's going to be a beautiful weekend. So if you are going to the beaches, definitely stay close to the lifeguards. Here's what it looks like right now in Delray Beach. You can see that we do have some clouds coming into the picture. Once again, another heat advisory is in effect in Palm Beach County with the heat, with the humidity. It's going to feel like 105 degrees. And in fact, that's what it feels like right now in Boca Raton. Now, we do have a front that's working its way into the region, and that's going to bring us some showers and storms. In fact, already we're starting to see some short, some showers develop from Okeechobee over into Indian Town and over towards Hope Sound, and they will become more numerous as the day goes on. And the front's going to sit on top of us once again tomorrow. So, again, tomorrow we'll have a good chance of seeing those active storms. But for tomorrow, I think they're mainly into Palm Beach County. But behind all of that moist air, look at all this dry air. As Ernesto pushes up to the north. It's going to push all of this dry air on top of us. And as a result, by the time we get to the weekend, lots of sunshine, very little rainfall is in the forecast for the weekend. But Vipercast shows today we're going to have those showers and storms around at least through the mid afternoon hours by the evening hours by sunset. We lose the daytime heating and the storms fizzle out. It's going to be hot though. Temperatures back into the lower 90s as we head into tomorrow. 90 degrees, a good chance of showers and storms, but mainly in Palm Beach County. And then for the weekend, we're seasonal and we're slightly less humid too.